Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. When the glue is dry on the centering ring, take the shock cord and you're going to thread it through both of those little holes. And then pull it through and then we're going to crisscross and go around the tube and we're going to tie these together. And then pull this tight so that the shock cord will go right up against the ring and then we're going to glue it in place right there. Just pull it tight and then smear it around so that it stays in place. Okay, and then go ahead and just set this aside to dry. In this step, we're going to make a shoulder that will go into the front part of the rocket right here. Now, there's three tubes to select from in the kit, um, and they're different sizes. Um, the first one is the largest one, and that fits this piece right here. And on the rocket, it's this tube right here. So we don't want to use that one. Uh, the next size is the one that's going to be for the, um, the nozzles, the display nozzles. So that goes inside, um, and you'll see that this one is the one for that. And it slides in really nice, so it's a really nice telescoping fit. The other one is really loose, and that's the one that we want. And that one is also just a hair shorter than this one here. So set these aside for right now. We're not going to need them. We're going to take this one right here. This is also the same diameter as the S4B stage tube. Um, when we originally designed the kit, they wanted to charge us extra for a shoulder that would fit inside of this, um, and it was the cost was pretty high back then, and that's why this tube is this size. But um, in the future, the near future, I hope, I'm going to resize this particular ring so that it slides nicely inside instead of being exactly the same side. Uh, when I do that, it will be a different color. So if you're watching this video and this ring is a different color and it slides nicely inside this long tube, then you can basically skip this step. So what we're going to do is we're going to slice it in half and then bring the edges together so that it fits inside of this to make a shoulder. And you'll see there is the nice splice line right there. And then we get this out of the way before it falls off. Um, so take your aluminum angle and we're going to draw a line on this tube. And we want to try to make sure that this line is nice and straight. Um, it just helps if it is. Um, And you can see my line is not perfectly straight. Um, as always, um, there is there is a little bit of leeway here. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to um, we're going there's there's going to be a gap here, and we're going to be able to make it work. So then take a hobby knife and very carefully without cutting into your fingers on the inside. We're going to slice along there a number of times. Oh, mine is a little bit off to the side, but that's okay. I just want to cut through. So I'm going to plunge down a little bit. Then I'm going to slice this way, holding it this way. That gives me a little bit more leverage. 
and then spin it around and do the same thing. Okay. Then we're gonna need a ruler. Where'd my ruler go? Oh shoot, my ruler's in the other room. I'm gonna pause here, I'll be right back. Okay. So I'm gonna take this tube and our coupler. I'm gonna overlap it, put it inside. Um, and I want to align the edges together. Hopefully you can see this. And I want to take my pencil and draw a line inside there. Like that. So that's what I need to cut off. And this cut is a lot easier to do because you can really press down hard on it. Okay, don't throw this away, we're going to use that. So now we're going to test fit it again into the tube. And that's pretty good. I might, if you have a little gap, that's going to be fine. Um, I purposely make I cut that one just a little bit uh, long so that I would have a gap there. That's going to be just fine. Um, ideally, we want this to be fairly loose going in and out of the tube. Um, it just makes easier to slide it on and off. And we're going to glue this on the inside. It's going to be the little splice on the inside like that. So we'll just do one side at a time. Spread that glue out, it dries a lot faster. And there's always a little bit extra, so I always take that and put it on this side. Okay, so I'm going to pause here and let that glue dry for a few minutes. Uh, it won't take long because there's not a lot of glue there. When this glue is dry, go ahead and put a little bit of glue on the other side of the tab. <clears throat> it's probably way too much glue, so wipe that off. And then put it on the inside of here. And you're going to bring it together. And if any glue oozes out, go ahead and wipe it off. I want to keep the glue off the outside because I want to stick it back into the tube here. And then just double check it. Um, so I'm going to just slightly spread it a little bit and you'll see just a slight gap in my seam. Um, I did that on purpose. You should probably, you should always try to make it um, completely flush, but um, I just wanted to show you that if you're off a little bit, it's going to be okay. Um, make sure that it's not going to stick by spinning it around and we're just going to let this dry again. So I'll be back once again. When the glue on the shoulder is dry, uh, we're going to glue this centering ring on one end. Um, so go ahead and get out your glue.
Make sure that you wipe off the glue on the outside. And inspect it to make sure that it's centered nicely on that ring. If it hangs over the edge on one side, we're going to have to sand it off. So it's best to just make sure that it's nice and flush all the way around. Then we're going to flip it over and we're going to put a fillet on the inside. And then we're going to let this dry. There's a cotton swab I found on the floor that makes a really good way to smooth out that fillet. Try not to move it around too much because I don't want to get it off the edge. Okay, so we're just going to let this dry uh, and then we're going to continue on in a second.